So I've sent close to 200 applications so far. And in that time, I've had to learn to be efficient with finding jobs and sending out applications. And so in this video, I just wanted to share some of the efficiency tips that I use to uh, find jobs, apply to jobs, and keep track of them all. So uh, let's hop over to my computer and we'll go through some of those. All right, so with the boot camp that I'm in, they have this requirement where I have to send 160 applications a month, which is a lot. Uh, so I did some quick calculation, figured out, figured out that that's roughly 40 a week. And because I don't wanna do a lot of this on weekends, I realized that I needed to do eight every weekday. And I've found that that usually can take anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on how lengthy the applications are. But I found some ways to make this more efficient. And so the first thing that I wanna show you are just the tabs that I have present here. So uh, some of this is gonna be straightforward, but the first is just you know figure finding your job board that you want to scrape through to find the jobs that you're searching for. I find that there's really three main ones that I really like, which is LinkedIn. Another one is uh, indeed.com. That's another one that I will scrape through. And then the last one that I had not heard of until I joined my bootcamp was Dice. And so Dice is, uh, I don't even really know how to describe Dice. It's basically this big conglomerate of uh, tech positions and there's recruiters on the site that will occasionally reach out to you. And there's usually a lot of job options when it comes to Dice, so that's a good one to be a part of. And so those are the three main ones that I use. As far as other tabs that I have, I have I always have my resume open, and I'll explain why in just a second. Uh, the next thing is really important. It's a way to, because I'm applying to so many jobs, I need a way to keep things organized so, I'm, so I don't apply to the same job multiple times, which would look really bad, I think. So the application that I use is called Hunter. And so Hunter is kind of this project management style application um, where uh, you can have a wish list of jobs that you're wanting to apply to. You can have a, an applied section. So these are jobs that you've applied to, and then you can parse it out into first interview, second interview, third, blah, 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 all the way up to when you get like an offer. Um, as you can tell, Certainly have no interviews at this point. But in any case, I do have a lot in the applied section. And so, I mean, um, you can use something like this, but you can also use something like Trello, which is almost the same thing. And um, you can use that to, uh, you can use something like Trello to also track your job applications. Now, the one thing that is really nice about Hunter is that um, if you notice, you can you can install a Chrome extension, and there's li this little doodad that appears on the bottom right. Although I think my photo is covering it, let me move this. So there's this little doodad on the bottom right here, and so what this allows you to do is it find it knows that this is a potential job, and so you can click this guy, and you can save it to your board. So if I save it, it'll save it to the wish list. And then if I go back to Hunter, it'll and I reload the page, it'll now show up in the wish list. And so uh, Hunter just makes it really easy to track job applications. Um, and so that's what I have been doing. And it's what my boot camp uses to determine how many jobs I've applied to so that I can meet their criteria criteria. So that's always a tab I have open. And then I always have my portfolio open and my LinkedIn profile. Uh, open to my page because most every application is going to ask for your LinkedIn page as well as your portfolio page. And it's such a minor detail, but having these open ahead of time just saves a few extra seconds so I don't have to keep going back to my portfolio. I can just keep it open and just copy and paste the link from there. The last page that I have open is super important. It's music. So the one thing that keeps me sane with my application process is listening to music. And I tell you what, these people here, uh, they're they're not telling me to say this, but they're this flavor trip. They do like 
house music, but it's like really awesome house music. Uh, and so I listen to that all the time when I'm applying for jobs and they're cool as shit. I'll get distracted because they'll like make food while they're making music and stuff. It's absolutely awesome. Any case, completely beside the point, but it is a tab that I always have open. Now, when it comes to actually applying the jobs, there is some things to keep in mind that I do. So because I have to apply to so many jobs, I just can't really tailor my resume that much. So I have put a lot of skills here in my resume so that it encompasses likely what a job application would probably have in it. But the one thing that I do try to tailor, and I don't know if this makes a difference at all, but it just makes me feel good about myself as opposed to sending the same resume over and over again. So let's say I wanted to apply to this interactive designer from Newzella. Uh, basically what I would do is I'd go to my resume and right now I'm labeled as a UX designer. The one thing that I would want to do is actually change my title to be this, an interactive designer. Um, all of these are going to be going through a uh, application tracking system. And so I just feel like if I have the exact name of the role, it'll be more likely to accept it. Uh, don't know if that's actually true, but it just makes me feel good to do that. And then the one thing that I'll do is a nice touch. Again, don't know if this actually makes any difference, but I'll look and see who the company is. In this case, it's Newzella. And I'll just write their name in the, uh, in the description so that when they see this, again, they might not give a shit about this at all. But to me, it's like if I see this and it says, oh, Josh Simon's Newzella resume, it's like, oh, okay, well, this is this is a resume that's custom tailored to Newzella. And so again, don't know if that makes any difference, but it might at least make a company think, oh, look, they tailored a resume towards towards us. That's that's cool. Even though really the only thing that I did was um, change the title to be what is reflected on the on the job description. And so that's what I do there. And so um, I, I kind of just go through like that and those sort of uh, things that I've described really help blast through this. Um, you know, the one other thing that should just be painfully obvious that you should have already is autofill engaged. So you should pretty much always have that um, because otherwise you're just going to be typing forever. And the other thing is that a lot of these will have the, this one I don't think actually does. I was trying to look through this ahead of time. A lot of them will have the link or fields for the uh, portfolio and a LinkedIn. And that, again, that's why I have these so I can just quickly grab those. And so that's sort of my process when it comes to um, applying. I'll just go through and I'll find eight of these on a given morning or evening and then make sure that I add each one to my hunter and then slide it over to the uh, applied section once I applied to it. And then um, just kind of go from there. And that's how I've been going about the whole application process. Uh, if, it, if a job, the only reason I would ever do like a cover letter is if the company requires one. Um, otherwise, uh, my boot camp just didn't recommend doing one. So I have not been doing uh, a cover letter. But there have been like a few where they've like really recommended, or I'm sorry, bleh, the job description required a cover letter. So I went ahead and wrote one out um, and, and did that. But yeah, that's been my job app, job applications process. I don't know if this was really helpful to see at all, but that's sort of just what I've been doing the past couple weeks. All right, so like I said, I hope that was at least marginally helpful. That process is basically what I'm going to be doing every weekday until I get my first interview and ultimately a job offer. And so uh, I just have one request. If you've been getting some value from these videos I've been putting out, if you wouldn't mind just hitting the subscribe button and bell notification, that would help me out a lot. And I'll be sure to keep you updated as I go along my journey to becoming a UX designer. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Take care.